we are having advocacy and awareness sessions uh, at different levels. We have them in the community, especially for the women. We have uh, sessions for, for men. We have sessions for the youth. And we also have sessions in the schools where the children are. We go to the schools that are majorly um, attended by the urban refugees where uh, they're able to, in, they also interact with the, the Kenyan host uh, populations. But then we take these sessions to them to realize, first of all, um, how do you prevent, what is gender-based violence? What is sexual uh, violence? Uh, how is it caused? What are the consequences, for example? Uh, how do you prevent it as a person? What do you do to prevent it as a person? What do you do to prevent it as a, as a group? a youth group or a woman's group. And as a community, we also now sit with the local administration and, uh, and the village leaders to be able to see how they're supposed to help with the, as a duty bearers. How, what is the responsibility in, um, in handling matters of gender-based violence when they get reported? Or how do they also help to work with the community to prevent these cases? How do they make the community have safe spaces to be able to talk about uh, gender-based violence? So we use these uh, forums even through our um, groups of persons we call health promoters who go out there to the community to talk about all these issues. The interventions train them to be able to have facts about this. We have capacity building sessions also for the local leaders to be able to have, to know what happens if you get uh, a survivor? How do you respond? What is your first um, response? You're supposed to get the report, refer this person to the hospital, then after that, refer them to, um, uh, to go report to the police station. So there's a, what we call the referral pathway, which is very, very clear, that needs to be followed for the survivor to get the social justice at the end. So all this information is given to uh, even the, the young ones as, as we talk to them in the community, in the schools. What do you do? Who do you report to? But for the prosecution and the, um, the cases to go to be clear and be done, we need the evidence. So part of the awareness and advocacy that we do is how do you preserve the evidence during the sexual violence? You must tell this to the people as you talk to them about the sexual violence.